All right, this is Sergeant Cortez and Sergeant Brantley. You guys, make sure you talk so we can hear you real good. We're out here in the dust storm. You can even taste the dirt in the air, can't you? Yes, you can. Yeah. Where are you guys from? Uh, I'm from South Carolina. Yeah. yeah. From Alberta uh, Beach. Okay. California. California. San Bernardino. San Bernardino. And you're obviously of uh, Canadian descent? <laughs> oh, yes. Okay. And uh, so you guys work in the mayor's cell, right? I get it. Nope. Now I'm, I'm right now I'm working at the, the uh, detention center. Oh, you are? I thought you were... Sergeant Cortez, you're not working at the I mayor's cell? I'm back at the company being first up and second up. Good. Okay. You like it better than the mayor's cell? Okay. And what would you tell people about Iraq? And uh, be honest. Don't give me the we're doing good things thing if you can help. If that's all you got to say, then say that. But, you know, do you have any advice to people to get an idea of what they're not seeing on CNN or, or Fox or CBS or something like that? Well, out of the times that I've been off on the um, five, pretty much what they see is pretty much what they get. I mean, you know, the country pretty much been run down. I mean, when you think about Iraq, you think they got a lot of oil stuff, they should have a lot of money. But when you actually go out to see the town, you'll see that it's like... Uh, it's like worse than third world country. I mean, yeah. it's so bad. Have you worked with any Iraqi entities, either of you? Yes, I worked with the, um, the Iraqi guards when we first started training them over, yeah. teaching them. Uh, I used to go out on patrol with them. So um, When I talked to them, they, they seem interested in the new group they got coming in, trying to take over for the army and stuff. They look like they're going to do good, but you still have some of the old regimes still in them. So it, it's kind of hard to tell how exactly how everything's going to turn out. Yeah. What well, do you think, Sergeant Cortez? Like, they're a little bit motivated, like I'm trained, I help them train with the loading and unloading of the yeah. ambulance and the helicopters. They seem happy about it and excited. They know they have a long way to go. Have you seen, now one of the problems I've seen is twofold, initiative taking and routine things, doing it on a daily basis. And when I've worked with the police, the thing I've noticed as an officer is that a lot of officers tend not to take initiatives on their own without being told to do so. And a lot of junior guys tend not to do anything until told to do so. Yeah. Even if it's a routine thing, like PMCS you do every Monday or whatever day you do. Yeah, because from the old regime, if they want to be told, then they don't do. And yeah. that's pretty much they still, so they still got that mindset in them. So they kind of stay back, you know, and wait. And that's the one, that's probably one of the slow blocks they have to get over yeah. in order for them to take over by themselves. Okay. You guys, uh, this is both your, I noticed you both have uh, combat medic badges <laughs> here. And you've both been here uh, before. What do you think of this place now compared to before? It's a long pregnant pause here. Yeah, well. Good, bad, it's way different, I hear. Well, yeah, well, the last time I was here, you know, most of doing a lot of shooting and stuff, so that's what, you know, it's pretty much the same. When the last time we was here, at, after the war, we ended up in Fallujah, and then dealing with the, uh, the people in Fallujah and stuff, to me, it's still about the same. At least now, the difference between then and now is that the people seem more towards the co correlation side than they did before. Really? They have a lot of animosity. You don't feel they're an they have animosity now like they did? No, they still do, but not as bad. Hmm. The guy that threw the grenade at me yesterday must have not got your memo. No, he did. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been shot at since you've been here? Yes. How many Last times? Uh, the few times I went out, it was... You're all right, sorry, and you won't pass. The few times that I've been out, it was three times. Yeah? The, uh, small arms or combination? Small, uh, small arms. Well, the uh, one when I went with the uh, MP, it was the IED that also had gunfire. Uh, that's when uh, I was treating the Iraqi um, cast that there was a time. Yeah. Have you been shot at Sergeant Cortez? Yes, I have. Why? Small arm, back in Compton. Like back in Compton? Correct. Small arm, drive-by shooting. Yeah, and uh, 
So, as a woman in a combat zone, what do you think about all these this talk in the news about that stuff? Is it kind of silly in this in this kind of place? All the worry about women in combat, it's kind of hard it not is. to be in combat if you're here, isn't it? <laughs> it's not. It, it is. It's a different perspective. Just like there's always those few bad apples that destroy all the image of females. Yeah. Um, they have done it in the past and they will continue to do it, unfortunately. I just hope and pray that they don't judge all of us that way. And so, being okay. up there a couple of times. Alright guys, that was awesome. I appreciate you giving me your input. I'll make sure this goes right to CNN. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Uh,